Uh, for this lecture, we're going to talk about um, track and item grouping. There's two ways to group um, forms of grouping in Reaper, and, and they're track grouping and item grouping. So first, I'm going to start with track grouping. And the reason you'd use this is because, you know, say you had a lot of different drum mixes and you were doing a final mix and you wanted to, you know, change the volume of the entire, all the drums. Instead of using, instead of doing this with each individual fader, you want to group the faders together so you can affect the you know, overall mix. So what I'm going to do is you can do this in the arrange window or the mix window down here. I'm going to do it in the arrange window. I'm going to click to select a uh, track, and then I'm going to shift click to select another track. So now I've selected these two tracks. I'm going to go up to Track pull-down menu. I'm going to make sure that Track Grouping is enabled. And I'm going to click on Track Grouping Parameters. In this case, I want to control the volume. So Volume Master, Volume Slave, Pan Master, Pan Slave. So I've grouped these together. Then if you'll notice on the icons right here for Pan and Volume, you have little red um, lines around it. That's telling you that the tracks are grouped. So now when I hit the, when I take a fader and grab it, it's going to be slaved to the other fader that I selected. So I'm actually moving the faders and pan of both tracks. So it comes in very handy when you're, um, like I said, doing a final drum mix or, or want to affect a couple tracks without having to go through and move the faders individually. Now to ungroup it, all you have to do is go to track, track grouping parameters, and deselect them. So I'm closing that, and then make sure both of them are not selected when you're moving this. So now I can just move one fader, and it will uh, take the track grouping off. Now you can do the same thing with items, and items basically refer to your audio track. So in this case, say I want to group this track, and um, I'm going to shift-click this track. So I'll show you how this will work. So I'm going to go in this case not to the track pull-down menu, but the item pull-down menu. And I'm going to go to group, group items. Shortcut is just G on your keyboard. And then if you notice, there's a little icon up here appears. Now it's important, okay, that when once you've done that, you go up to you have an item group grouping disabled. So when I click on this, okay, that means it's I'm gonna it's enabled, and I'm gonna just grab one of these and move a track, and notice that the other one moves right along with it up here because they're grouped together. It's really handy if you have a lot of different items that you want to group. Now, if you want to ungroup them or slide them individually, just click on this icon so it's disabled. Now you can just grab it and it will um, move by itself. So again, click on this and both items will move at the same time. Very handy if you want to shift things over a lot of different items. Now if you want to um, remove the grouping, you just go back to the item pull down menu go to group, and then go to remove items from this group. So I clicked on it and they're removed. So that's track, you know, track grouping and item grouping, very handy. Um, changing tempo. Sometimes when you put a loop in, and we're gonna, we're gonna do this in our next project, it has a specific tempo, and you wanna match up that tempo some um, time. So easy to change tempo. And tempo for those of you who are not music majors refers to the rate um, and how fast or slow um, beats will move or pulse. So in this case we have a beats per minute down here in 120. All I have to do is click on this to change it. If I want to slow it down I can make it 80. Click it in. So that way you can match up tempos. Now understand if you have an audio file in here it's going to affect the audio file um, pretty adversely. So you don't want to change tempo once you have an audio file in there. Because um, you would think that the audio file would just slow down in time, but it doesn't. It, uh, it will do weird and strange things to the audio file, as you'll find out. So, um, But that's basically uh, track and item groupings and how to change your tempo.